a 0.5 kilogram cart moving to the right at the 4 meters per second collides with the second cart that is initially at rest. During collision, the amount of force between the two carts is described by this force versus time graph. Find the velocity of the 0.5 kilogram cart immediately after the collision. And part B, if the second cart moves to the right at 1 meter per second immediately after the collision, what is the mass of the second cart? Part A, for the 0.5 kilogram cart, the impulse on that cart would equal to the change in momentum if we're talking about the net force on the cart. And uh, during the collision, force on the 0.5 kilogram cart from the other cart is the net force. So the impulse from this force equals to the change in momentum. And the impulse for this force is uh, the area of the force versus T graph, which means that it is the area of uh, this triangle. So it is the one half height times the base. The height of the triangle is uh, 12. The base of this entire triangle is uh, 0.5. So this gives us uh, 3. And this equals to the changing momentum, which is m times delta v, and that it would be 0.5 kilograms times the delta v, the final velocity, minus the initial velocity, 4. And then we can solve for the vf. But there is a mistake somewhere over here. Can you identify that mistake? During the collision, the force on the 0.5 kilogram cart goes to the left, which means the impulse goes to the left. The impulse on the 0.5 kilogram cart goes to the left, which means uh, if I say this 4 meters per second initial velocity is positive, I will have to say this force here is negative and the impulse is negative because they go to the left. Then I can divide by 0.5 on both sides and I get negative 6 equals to Vf minus 4. So the final velocity is negative 2 meters per second. And this negative, negative direction opposite to this positive 4, it must be a leftward velocity. And then part B for the second card. For the second card, the same thing, the impulse would equal to the changing momentum if this force is the net force. And during the collision, the force between the two is the net force on this second card. So the impulse would equal to the changing momentum. Now the impulse on the 0.5 kilogram goes to the left, it's negative 3. What do you think is the impulse on the second card? It must be the same amount 3, but a to the right, so it's a positive 3. And that will equal to the changing momentum, m times delta v. We don't know the mass, we're looking for it. The delta v is the final velocity minus the initial velocity. And the final velocity is given, it moves to the right at 1 meter per second. To the right, that will be positive 1. The initial velocity would be 0 because the second cart starts at rest. So this will give us uh, the mass that is uh, 3 kilograms. Another way to solve the part B would be we can use the uh, conservation of momentum for this collision problem. The initial momentum equals to the final momentum. Initially, only the first cart has momentum, m times v. The second cart has no momentum at the beginning. And then afterwards, the first cart gets a velocity negative 2. 
the second card has a momentum m times v, and that velocity is 1 meter per second to the right, so it's a positive 1. So I get 2 equals to negative 1 plus 1 m. That means the m would be 3 kilograms. Of course, we get the same answer. When I used the impulse to solve this problem, I was looking at the two cards separately. The impulse on the first card is negative 3. The impulse on the second card is positive 3. So when I look at the whole system, the total impulse is 0. Because the collision force on the two cards, they are equal and opposite action force and reaction force. That's why the impulse would also be equal and opposite. So the net force on the whole system is zero, and the impulse on the whole system is zero. And that's why the momentum change is zero. So you have momentum conservation, and that's why we can use this. And the total momentum is conserved for the whole system.